So I just finished playing Gotham Knights, and I'm probably going against the grain when I say this. I don't think it's that bad of a game. You what? Now I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to anyway. The game is not perfect by any means, but let me just talk about the combat first. So the combat in this game, I'd say it's challenging to learn at first, because if you're used to the Arkham style combat, it's going to be hard to adjust because it's not quite the same. Like for example, you can't counter attack the enemies, you can only dodge. So that alone was hard for me to get used to, but it's a lot more slower because the enemies in this game take a lot more hits than I think they should. Like they have a lot more health. And another reason why I feel like the combat is slow is because it's pretty frustrating to understand at first because some enemies require a certain like stun before you can do any damage. So like the bulldozers, you have to guard break them before you can start doing any kind of moves on them. Or with like the talons, the court of owl enemies, you have to use like a projectile stun before you can uh, hit them because they're just too fast regularly. So that's also why it might feel longer to take them out. But once you understand the combat and just get a feel for it, I feel like it can give you that same Arkham combat style feeling where like once you know what to do, when to dodge, when to use momentum abilities, and when to use your projectiles, the combat will feel fun, especially when you know how to do a combo with a grab and a momentum ability or something like that. As for the stealth in this game, I feel like it's not that great, just due to the fact that there's four playable characters and you're not gonna have access to all their gadgets at once. But don't get it twisted, like you can obviously do stealth with anyone, play whoever you want, but the main two people I would suggest for stealth is Robin and Batgirl. Just because Robin, his character is literally meant for stealth, like half of his skill tree points are put into stealth and Batgirl just because she can do hacking and avoid cameras and things like that. But the stealth is pretty simple in this game, like there's not much you can really do with it, it's just get behind the enemy and stealth take them down. But like I said, there's four characters with different playstyles, so I can't complain too much. They added the detective puzzles in this game, and to be honest, I don't think it's as good as like the detective mode in Arkham Origins. Like this one is honestly hard sometimes with the hints that they give you the option to skip the solution. So like they know it's hard, but I don't know. I feel like the puzzles could have been different or more simpler because they can get confusing at times. I think I just prefer the like uh, rewind ability in the Arkham Origins where you could like rewatch the scene. Whereas in this one, you're just, you're just trying to connect two pieces of evidence together. Now the crafting in this game, I don't know how to feel about it honestly because I don't have a problem with it, but it's just, you know, strange to play a Batman type game with crafting in it. And it's really simple, so that's a plus. Like all you really get, all you really have to do to get material is just complete uh, crimes, just take out enemies in general and open chests. So it's really easy to like learn, but uh, yeah, it's just weird playing a Batman game and using material to upgrade like your weapons and armor and stuff like that. For the skills and the skill trees, I think it's important to know that when you first play the game on the normal game mode, you get 30 points for each character. And if you play new game mode plus, you get 40. So that might be the reason why you might not have all the abilities. But to give a quick rundown of who does what, Nightwing's skill tree mainly focuses on building up momentum and less time for the cooldowns for like the ultimate ability. Robin's skill tree mainly focuses on stealth and elemental damage. For Batgirl, she focuses on hacking and health bonuses. And finally for Red Hood, he mainly focuses on projectiles and any sort of grabs. You don't have to share any points between the characters. They all get the same amount of points. So that's also a plus. So the traverse in this game, AKA how you travel is questionable. I think everyone can agree with me when I say the bike in this game is mad slow. Like I don't know why the bike is always going the proper speed limit. Like it's just so slow and there's no like boost. In Arkham Knight, you know how you get the temporary boost? That's not in here. So there's no way to make it faster. Like doing a wheelie doesn't make it go faster. So it's just always constantly going the same speed. So that sucks. But um, the game has fast traveling points. So 
you're gonna mostly be using that once you unlock them and the knighthood abilities which is like nightwing's glider robin's teleporter batgirl's gliding cape and red hood's mystical leap and like for the grappling hook i don't know there's just something about it it feels like awkward like it's not as fluid or something like that but i feel like the main reason why i think this game is not that bad is for the multiplayer now i know i've heard some horror stories where when people play co-op their frame rates start dropping but for me that wasn't the case i mean i didn't play co-op that much but when i did my frames weren't like dropping crazy so it didn't really bother me but playing the game co-op is just so much more fun than solo like you could have fun playing solo but i just feel like the game shines more when you're playing on co-op my only complaint about multiplayer is that i wish it was four player instead of two player i heard that there was a rumor that the game might be four player i don't know if it's true or not but I think it would be really cool to see all four of the knights at the same time, but that might cause more issues with like the frames and whatever. So I, I would like to see that, but I still think the co-op is fun as it is. And finally for the story, I thought it was okay. Like I wish that the Court of Owls were used more. Like, I don't know. I feel like they weren't used as much as they could have been because I wanted to know more about them because me personally, I don't know anything about the court of owls like i'm not as big as a batman fan as i want to say i am but yeah i was really interested to know more about him but i don't know but i still thought the story was cool maybe a little predictable but it's cool oh and i almost forgot the boss fights i thought were cool they were also fun but they were hard at the same time you know what no they were just hard because i don't know what the efficient way was to beat like mr freeze or clayface but not even joshing with you i had to beat them by throwing batterings at them like that's the only way i beat mr freeze and it was insane so yeah that's pretty much my thoughts and i guess review on gotham knights hopefully they add a lot more stuff just so the game doesn't you know feel dry uh, i heard there's some like new some new additional content that's about to come out but we'll see i guess but yeah the game was i i don't think it's as bad as everyone says it is but that's just me. So with that being said, thanks for watching and I'm a dip out.